guys. Nanny Wheat Carter. That's uh, Lee. That's, yeah, that's the mother of these two kids. Yeah. Can you read it? Lee Tarter. Uh, Clifton? I don't know. They died real young. This was 1936 when this yeah. one died. But I remember when she died. Uh, uh, Captain, uh, that was their Tarter. oldest child of 1902 when she was born. Yeah. Uh, they got married in 1901, so that house was built. The house, you could see the roof of it right through those trees there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, they, they uh, her and her husband moved to Cincinnati. There's her back there. And uh, there's a, the mother and they the lived mother in Cincinnati and when she died. And, and they brought her back here to be buried? Back here to be buried with their kids. Huh. <laughs> no kidding? Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Wheat. Dr. Wheat. Sure did. Dr. Wheat. Yeah. <laughs> when you get back. <laughs> and I guess we should have had a we should have had a general like too, you know, just name him general. Probably gets poisoned. Perhaps uh I mean it uh dad's oh, farm. Uh, maybe right, the yeah, maybe property lines right Especially on the other side. Right you know, where those poisoned. woods he are. He still right does. There. That's where the old property line was. There? Yeah. And the house was then. The house you grew up in is right you through there. You could look right over those trees there, and you could see the barn and the house from there. It's quite a ways over there. You, when the house see. was up, you could see it right there. There yeah. was a, there was a. Do you remember that mulberry tree right in the middle mm -hmm. of the corner there where the line was? Mm -hmm. We used to go back there and get mulberries. I remember one time I was plowing corn over there, and my grandmother's brother came walking out of them woods and scared the hell out of me. I thought he'd <laughs> called out of a grave down here. <laughs> <laughs> of course, plowing, it was two mules and a, and a handheld no, plow. It was two horses and a hand plow. Yeah, plow. yeah. God. But, uh, I mean, tell you, he, he'd uh, walked and hitchhiked from Cincinnati. Two brothers. And she hadn't seen him in 30 years. And he just comes walking out of the woods. He comes out and walking out of the woods, and I thought he was walking out of the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing he didn't have a gun. <laughs> well, he looked like a cadaver, really. Yeah, he, he did? did. He, 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 was, he, he had been back. shot in the ankle, remember that? Yeah, he looked like he, 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 he'd been shot. Why did he get shot? You know, Nobody knew. They never discussed it in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> but his, his, his foot and ankle Gangrene? infected, and they thought he might lose his leg. It wasn't gangrene then. No, it wasn't gangrene. Yeah. It was gangrene, but it was infected. Yeah. He stayed with us for a couple of months. Yeah, he stayed with us there for a while. And, uh, People used to come down all the time and stay for the summer. To show you that he was a true wheat. <laughs> Aside from the getting shot in the ankle. Aside from getting shot in the ankle. Right. <laughs> and hitchhiking down here. You're from Cincinnati. They, they was uh, taking him. Uh, he was de uh, on his deathbed, and they was taking him the hospital or something and he begged him to stop at the whorehouse <laughs> <laughs> can you take a break right here for a minute <laughs> i want to say good, minutes, I, I want to say goodbye to candy <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes. i may not make it yeah, uh, yeah. it was a true <laughs> it's like uh, when we were all up here for a uh, uh, reunion several years ago lenny weeks daughters were sitting there at the table with us eating lunch and they were telling about there, there was a relative that was a circuit riding preacher uh -huh. and uh, they were telling about how you go around community to community and preach and one of the one of the sisters i don't know which one it was said was telling that story and garnet was sitting there and he looked up and he said yeah he probably stole the horse he was riding <laughs> 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 he got well, a laugh out of it anyway. Doing God's work, you know, you yeah, got to get there. God's work on a stolen horse. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I guess that's a it's a step up to ask the community for a new jet, right? <laughs> yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. They used to uh, on Memorial Day they come down, everybody clean off all the relatives and everything, come in and clean off, and one or two of them could strum a guitar. They'd have dinner on the ground. Yeah, dinner. And then they'd, after they got through eating, they'd 
had this work done by they'd start uh, playing their guitars and singing. <coughs> of course, it's probably not the best singing in the world, but they would sing. They were wheat, so it's definitely not the best singing in the world. <laughs> they weren't all wheat. I've heard I me was, sing. I was brought into this. And, yeah. And, yeah, yeah I've heard me sing. I, it's definitely not the best singing in the world. Uh, they, they had some pretty good singers in it. Bruce Tarter, for one, was a good singer. Uh, he had a beautiful bass voice. There's yeah. a, there was a guy lived right down the hill there. Mm -hmm. There was Whites, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Pomp White. Pomp White. And... His boy went off to the Army in World War II, and I remember we went down there to when he come home on leave, and he brought a guy from Louisiana with him, yeah. a friend from Louisiana. Yeah. And we couldn't understand damn what he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So after Garnet dropped the axe and cut off his toe, how did they treat it? They wrapped it up in a white rag and kept it soaked, damp all the time, and rubbing alcohol. Oh, so every time they applied it, I guess you guys, everybody in the county knew. <laughs> after, after the first application, it gets less painful until uh, there's no pain at all. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. Bruce, they were in Columbia one time, and Bruce saw a bill for what he wanted to buy. And he wanted to borrow money to buy the billfold. And Pep told him in no uncertain terms, I think you ought to have something to put in it before you buy it. <laughs> <laughs> he got drunk and he had false teeth and he lost his teeth sometime during the night. And he had Which one was this? Bruce. Bruce, Carter. okay. Yeah. And he had us kids out looking for his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something Grandpa would have done. Yeah, I think they're out in the front yard, but Grandpa. As long as Lee was alive, he was a he was a timekeeper for Procter and Gamble in Cincinnati. And as long as she was alive, and keep him straight. Yeah. And she kept him right under her thumb. But then when she died, he just went to hell. Last time we saw him, he came through Indiana. He looked like a I mean, just like a bum, just like an old wino. I mean, he was just gone. Yeah, that's too bad. Right over there to the old house. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good ways to the house, but it's not very far to their first front fence. No, it's not far. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, so, how long have you you lived here? You uh, since December, uh, 51 years. We bought this farm here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, how? So you've lived pretty much your whole life here in this area? Yeah. Uh, well, my dad, he went rent farm, you know, down the 76. We rented a farm down there. Then we go back uh, over this way to where uh, he owned a little five-acre farm over there. But then he'd rent somebody else's farm. <laughs> he just kept us moving, but we always been right around Right around here? Yeah. 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 So who was your dad? Who, what was his name? Elvin. Elvin. Elvin yeah, Redman. He was a, a sister, a brother of Jesse uh, May. And his cousin. They did, cousins. Their cousin. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Evelyn, Evelyn, she was a cripple polio. Yeah. She's still living. She lives She's, up at Russell Springs somewhere. You're kidding. Yeah. Huh. Mr. May still living? Yep, as far as I know there are. <laughs> well, most of the uh, kids when they grew up they went to Cincinnati. Yeah, I, I think the maybe there's two, maybe three girls are still living, I think, of the whole big bunch. Yeah. <laughs> so, Fred and, and uh, what was the other one? Fred and Hoover and Hoover. Yeah, yeah the, uh, Clyde, because Clyde, Clyde, yeah, owned Clyde. All, Clyde owned all of this here farm here. Yeah. So, so what's your what is your name? I'm sorry. Willis Gladys Willis. Gladys Willis. Yeah. Excellent. So my husband died 31 years ago. So Holy cow! My son, uh, he's uh, 61, but he never did get married. So he said, "Mom, I'll live with you and help take care of you." So oh, that's nice. I said, "That's good." Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. That works. <laughs> that works. Yeah. Yeah. You just walk on over there. That that space right there in the woods, and I think that. Man's got at least he's got corn or soybean one over there. So oh, yeah, he, yeah. He just walk right through okay, there. Thank, right, thank you. Pleasure meeting you, ma'am. Good to see you all. Now.
this is the living room right here. Living room, bedroom. The bedroom, my grandfather <laughs> and grandmother slept. And, and where, you guys slept upstairs? Or? Yeah. Over and there. Over we there. Would, we would sit in there and listen to the radio. Uh -huh. that had these mysteries on it. Yeah. It's called, uh, what was the mystery? Yeah, the the squeaking shot. door. Squeaking and door the, and Jack and the box. And we get so damn scared we, we had to come out on the porch to get upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you said you had to go outside to get to the stairs yeah, to, to and go up. Make to make one jump, man, we was up them stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear when out of the past came the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger and his masked Indian companion Tonto would ride the range for law and order in the early western yeah. United States. <laughs> I like those rocks there for a foundation. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We, we used, used to play, play under uh, there. Fox and dog, and that, this was a home base right here. And you jump off, and the dog would chase you and go around the house as fast as you could and get back on the porch before he could get you. <laughs> we do that all the time. Bring you back a lot of memories. Let's go around and see if we can see them. Actually, four adults and five little kids. Well, I remember coming in here uh, like 30 years ago, and you could still walk in. I, I wouldn't walk across there now. That's not stable. But yeah, and that, that's when I when uh, when we came here the last time 30 years ago. We went up the stairs, and your wallpaper was newspapers. Yeah. We, yeah. Uh, we didn't want to go out to the outhouse of a night before we went to bed. Yeah. We'd go out, they call it going out on the porch. We'd yeah. always come out on the porch and pee. Yeah. And, uh oh, where are you? Oh. Are you inside? No, well, I'm on the window, window cell. Uh, be careful. Beth, yeah, I, I wouldn't walk across that floor. Beth, don't I'm go inside. Beth, yeah. do not go inside. I'm not. Be careful, baby. If you do, you have to eat a roach. That way we don't have to worry about uh, you getting a uh, uh, tetanus shot. Talking about going going out to the porch, uh, we still uh, go out to the deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's called male privilege. Yeah, grandson, how we go? Uh, uh, Doug has there. some real wealthy friends in uh, Houston, and uh, I think they moved to Chattanooga now. But anyway, I saw him over at one of the crawfish boils. I said, "How you doing?" He said, "Fine." It, they'd had late in life twins. Uh, they, they got to be such good friends with them because Doug's wife would go over and give her a shot every morning so that they could deliver the babies. Uh -huh. He said, I'm doing fine, but my wife's not very good. I said, what's wrong? He said, well, she's always mad, angry. I said, why? He said, because she can't pee on trees like I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, it's really deep. Right up through there, and went up that hill, and the barn was right back up, back up there. They yeah. Had a barn, and then they had another building over on that side. So where's your camel tree? It's back over here. All right. I think we can find it. It's yeah. Still there. Yeah. Tree and might the, be. The spring is right down here. I hope we can go by there. Where was your well? Right down there by the, the spring. You went and picked up buckets. Right. That was your well? That was our well. <laughs> Jeez, that was our well. I got you. I heard Dolly Parton talking about, of course, we just we just had boys, so uh -huh. we didn't have that problem. I think we'd take a bath about once a week in a wash tub. <laughs> and uh, I heard Dolly Parton telling somebody about that. They had boys and girls. And the interviewer asked her, she said, well, how do you handle that, the boys and the girls bathing? She said, well, when the boys were in the room, we'd wash down as far as possible. Then we'd wash up as far as possible. Then the boys would room, leave the room, we'd wash possible. <laughs> <laughs> she came up just about like this. Yeah. Yeah, she said, I heard her say one time she knew where babies came before mom and dad, how, she, how people made babies. So... <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, that's what she said. It was her story, yeah. not mine.
Township, and then Henson's, and then uh, Coomer. Coomer. But this road came right by here and went right on down over a big hill to Henson's yep. farm. Okay. <coughs> when the Henson's were living there, their So if you dug down at the bottom of this, you'd see gravel. Mm -hmm. no. Their barn burned. And, With uh, dirt. The dirt road. The horses <laughs> out. They had horses burned up in the barn. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Huh? Terrible story. Fresh meat. Well, no, it was the worst. It was horrible. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah, yeah no doubt. Uh, he also had... Uh, a cow with rabies. <laughs> and, uh, we drifted into the sad stories now. Yeah. The, Did anyone get bitten by a bat or anything? I think it was. I think it was interesting how the veterinarian. No, that wasn't Henson. That was Coomer. Coomer had the, the rabied cows after Henson. He was uh, doing what they call drenching a cow. He'd take a, a bottle with a medication in it and shove it down its throat. Of course, he had it. Slab all of his hand and everything. He finally called the veterinarian. The veterinarian came out and said, I think your cow's got rabies, but I can tell you in a second that she has rabies. He took a, a live chicken and he threw it in the pen with that cow, and the cow just had a fit laying there shaking like that, fell over. And he took a stick and he raked it across the barn. The cow had, had the same reaction. So they had to kill the cow and then uh, burn it. Couldn't bury it, afraid something, dig it up, eat it, burn it. And uh, he had to go to Columbia 20 something or 30 some days and get a shot in his stomach every day. Oh, nice. Uh, that had to be bad back we, then. We, uh, Good Lord, that had to be bad. Well, oh my God. Down that way, down by Henson's and down over a big hill across the valley, and they had a bluff, a creek and a bluff over it. We used to set traps up there to cave. <laughs> and we'd check our traps on the way to school. Nice. Well, we was going by there uh, one morning, and Charles was about six, and he ran down there to that cave and pulled that out, and he said, Oh, we got a teddy bear. Oh, shit. And about that time, that skunk let him have it. <laughs> <laughs> At least he got to go home. He didn't have to go to no, school that no, day. No, we went on to school, but the teacher sent us home. And we got home, and my grandfather wouldn't let us come in the house. <laughs> <laughs> we got a teddy bear. Teddy bear. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, that bear smelled like shit. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of bear is that? Oh, God. Well, it, it was uh, too bad for the teacher and too much for my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of the story is we cleaned that stupid thing and, and put its skin on a board. Yeah. And how, I don't know. Wait, because okay, it did that you to you, and that. then you put it, uh, uh, what? He had it trapped, it was, yeah. Yeah, we, it yeah. was in trap. Yeah. We'd, uh, we could probably get a quarter for a possum skin after it. Right well, up. it don't sound like much, but a quarter was a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Candy bars. Okay, log behind. Yeah. Mary and Elza. Elza Shepherd. Our dad's. It, she aunts. was. She was. His dad's. Your dad's dad's sister. So it's his aunt. Right. Aunt Mary. Okay. She's the one that called your dad a little Durl. Little Durl. 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 D. He was. He was your, he was her little girl, because they had all those boys. You know, he was the fourth in the row of five boys. And so your dad was chosen to be her little girl. There you go. Yep. So the place we went around where the barn was close to the road, mm -hmm. the next driveway that headed the other way was, uh, they lived back on that. Sam's daughter? The yeah. Walkers and uh, uh, the rectors. rectors. Right and there. what was her name? Huh? And what was her name? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. You just know the rector's daughter. I just remember. Daughter. I remember her. You started her, with but... a knee, didn't you, Charles? Huh? You started with a knee, didn't it? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> her grandmother and her great grandmother's name. Mm -hmm. I always wondered where they got Buford. I never knew El uh, Elsie's name was Thomas. Now is that that's her middle name or her maiden name? That's that's her middle name, Mary Buford Shepherd. So it's Elza Thomas was her middle name. Yeah. Thomas was Elsie's name. Elsie Thomas. Elza. Shepherd. Is it Elza? Or? Elsie. He's a man. Yeah. 
LZ. LZ. It's a unique name. It's like a Y, except it's got an A. Uh, we saw like that. the Goldie and, yeah. yeah. we saw that today. Huh. Yep. Okay. Okay. Again before she died. At that time, uh, Thomas Jefferson they, they didn't get the in his that late 40s, he would go. maybe early 50s. But that, that, I mean, one, of the, one of the stories, one of the, the United the, States. like, six wow. or eight pages. Yeah, yes. he was a, that's he what, was a slave owner. And the only thing he so was Griffin. Was and so was Griffin. But at one so time, he owned uh, 240 some slaves. Oh, my. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. And, uh, yeah, I've heard of Remember that. the one that came, the ex slave that came to visit? He, uh, apparently, she Griffin, called uh, all of the boys in and got them up on the bed yeah. individually and talked to yeah, them. Yeah, she really did. Because she knew she You know, uh, oh. they yeah. tried to get her to eat at our table and she wouldn't do it. And I don't she know how. She, she, uh, some of them worked with this. the Threshers. I remember her. Mandy was, was her name. Mandy. 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 Something. Oh. Mandy. Yes, yeah. he was. Niece and nephew. And came. The niece came uh, first, Russell County, and the nephew the came. Or the nephew came first. Here. And on the way home, he told his mom Griffin they had to take and, some uh, leave test, so the White girl stayed and took hers, and then he had to take his. Because the daddy wouldn't let him make it up. Yeah. So they had to go back and forth. She drove all the way from here. Lafayette uh, to Orange Beach, and I think that and back uh, the same day to bring to pick up the boy and bring the girl. Anyhow, the boy on the way home. An told award his mama, from the government uh, for a they were shopping of land, on Thursday, the three which of them. Had, and, which we'll and he had on how nice it was Thursday. Uh, <laughs> but he lost all that after the Because they weren't war. there. Yeah. I swear. Well, you had to Wednesday, told me at one time, and I'm, I'm recording that so I can we were, uh, that's make sure that I remember this. So I'm just yeah. letting you know. You had told me one time that when the when the Civil War was going, the Yankees would come through and confiscate and back. Stuff and, and no compensation, and, and, and then the rebels would come through and pay them with with yeah. Confederate dollars, which were which were you. And so the time I got the what what ha wound up happening was they they were the fairly and prosperous landowners, and, and they wound up being us. Yeah, we wound up being us. It didn't bother me at that time. Well, that's that's a brief summary, but accurate. <laughs> they always told me that Griffin had then, uh, 21 slaves. Yeah, they he, tried, but I he said, told oh, them I, I, I walked out of there. there. I, 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 I wasn't staying in that house with that bitch. So he, well, he, I said, you're, you're free. free. You've got the door before. back in. I have no idea. No, I wasn't doing that. For anybody. Uh, yeah. They knew I was and in for trouble. Supposedly they they left. We're going to be great great. I can show you where they settled. So cool. December? We used to. Early part Hill, She's hoping it'll five be mile hill, we'd go over and She's ride her bicycle seven weeks off. And then we'd push it back up the cross she cut She's up for the black Organized snow. Catherine, right. good and Lord. She's got to find out what it is that's so nice. possible. You know, <laughs> she may know when we go home, I don't we, know. We never, she goes, never knew how poor we were. But we actually felt sorry for them. If she can talk the insurance company into paying, they were more poor. Yeah, there's poor and then there's poor. There's poor and then there's really poor. Really poor. Really, really poor. But we'd push your bicycles up all the way. I can't imagine when y'all were kids. The poor black neighborhoods and areas like this had to be just awful. She just died in Well, I ran right now the kids. Uh, the uh, median income of all in is Russell County Dr. is $23,000. Yeah, you told me that. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, I'm Dr. Katie is not, about not very good. No, the second, the second no, highest no, number of I'm sorry. Any tiny yeah. I, just, I was reading the other day, just looking at stuff. Comes about here Kentucky on has like six <laughs> poorest counties in the country. Holy crap. It's true. I know, it's the family income. Yeah, but you can't crush Russell County.